Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Is your computer accessible to the public and you're looking for the easiest way to protect files or folders with a strong password to control access? In this video, I've tested multiple methods through trial and error and found the best way to protect your data on your Windows 11 computer. Let's go. I've tested a lot of security programs, but in my opinion, this is the best one yet. It uses military-grade encryption, which means your files are protected with the highest level of security, whether they're stored on your computer, USB drives, or hard drives. Encrypting files can be complicated, but this tool makes it easy even if you're not a tech expert. A paid subscription is required, but I personally think it is worth the money because I have not found anything similar that is free. You can download it for free using my link below and even get a discount on your subscription to try out all the features. Once you have installed the software, the first step is to find out where your files are located. If they're on your computer's hard drive, use the options under Local Disk to hide, lock, or protect them. For files on a USB or external hard drive, select the options under External Disk instead. If you want to control who can access your files without the right password, head to the Locking File section. Unlike hiding, locked files are still visible in your file system. On the right side, pick whether you want to lock only specific files, a folder, or an entire storage drive. After you add them, the status will instantly change to locked. Let's test it out. Whenever I try to open a locked file, it asks for a password first. So, no password, no access. If you want to make files or folders read-only, so people can see what's inside but can't change, delete, or rename them without a password, go to the Protecting File section. You can choose to protect a certain file, a specific folder, or the entire storage drive. After setting it up, the file status will change to protected. Now, I can open the file, but I can't make any changes. The only way to edit or delete it is to disable the protection. But of course, this requires a password. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.